I work 35 years with Duke Energy, and Duke Energy is very structured. My name is Steve Magenheimer. Basically, these are entry-level type tasks they are being taught. Um, they do come out with several certifications. The climbing probably is the um, hardest thing. They're, they're very green, they never climbed a pole before. When they're complete here, they're ready to go entry level in a power company or a contractor. Duke Energy approached uh, Pinellas County Urban League with efforts to diversify their line worker program. The reason why it's very important to, uh, to recruit diverse students for the program because the program represents the community that, that it's serving. After several meetings, it kind of transform into the SBC line worker uh, um, program. It's not just the hard skills they need um, that they're learning to become linemen, it's those soft skills they need to go through the interview process and also once they get on a job to be able to handle those different conversations. Dramel comes to the class every day with 150% attitude. He's always trying to lift his peers. My name is Jamel Douse, and I was born here in St. Petersburg, Florida. I told my grandmother that I actually wanted to be an electrician. She saw the ad with the Urban League and sent me there. They took us through a one-day boot camp where they actually took us to the Duke facility, and we got to see the hands-on and live demonstrations of how the electricity works. And it was like I fell in love with it at first sight. Funding from Duke Energy has been tremendous. They call us the, the Duke Energy Pipeline. Students from our first cohort, 11 out of 14, have gotten life-changing careers. To know that I had a part in teaching them to get them started and give them good work habits, good safety habits, and be able to build their career, it gives me goosebumps.